L.R., the liberal redneck here. Coming to you from a country that is greatly influenced by a multi-billion dollar industry that is based almost exclusively on fear. Of course, I'm referring to religion. I base my premise on a phrase commonly used by its practitioners. I am a God-fearing believer. I know why they fear God, because their reverends, pastors, priests, bishops, cardinals, rabbis, elders, and imams are constantly reminding them that failing to do what God wants them to do will land them forever in the fiery pits of hell. What is not at all clear is how these so-called leaders happen to know what it is that God wants. Other than fear, the next greatest motivator is money. Religion in general seems to be heavily money-oriented, and its leaders deem it their responsibility to make sure and collect all of God's money on a regular basis. What is not at all clear is why an ethereal being such a, has such a great need for something so earthly in origin. Man has always had a struggle dealing with how and why he came to be. It can't be a random accumulation. There has to be a higher meaning, a bigger picture, and more importantly, something after life. Religion offers a possible answer to this dilemma. An unknown, unseen, unheard super being that has the whole thing under control. His icing on the cake, he also offers life everlasting somewhere in the heavens where need and want are things of the past, and all is taken care of for righteous believers. The inability of man to accept that he just is has opened the door to an enormous business conglomerate generating billions in tax-free money. The people that collect all that money sure as hell don't send it to God. Instead, it goes towards giving them an incredibly lavish lifestyle they claim is their reward for passing on to others what God has told them personally. I don't care if you want to believe what those leaders tell you. That's your business. Just like what a woman wants to do with her body is her business. I do care that they pay no taxes. That must be changed, along with every other special consideration they enjoy. Religion is a business and must have the same responsibilities as any other business. I stepped away when the first two people sent their sons from Eden, and the sons found wives with no explanation of where those wives came from. But if you accept that, again, that's your business, and no concern of mine. Just don't expect a free ride. You can reach me at theliberalredneck at gmail.com and you can visit live with me, the pagan goddess, and the progressive Christian for our weekly wrap-up every Friday at noon central on blogtalkradio.com forward slash theliberalredneck.